Hi, welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, Quantum Jumps and Space Talk podcast and uh, today I have two guests, not guests, I don't know how to call them guests, uh, for Plummets, we have uh, Get Yunked and uh, Mr. Vulcan over here, yeah, do you guys want to... You're, you're cancelled, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm the only one that deserves to be called Mr. <laughs> wow, 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 that's right. Uh, right. Hey, let me check with my legs. <laughs> okay. Alright, man. All right. Say what do we have in stock for us today? Oh. Good stuff. Obviously, Good so stuff. Citizen Con has just finished uh, what a few days ago now, and uh, whoa, we got a lot of a lot of big news. I don't know. I don't know what you guys want to start off. With. I was thinking the good old boat that jacket, the um, base builder. But <laughs> we'll get to the boat later. <laughs> All right, right, nice, nice. No, but uh, base builder, man. Base builder looks nice. Did you notice when we're not placing on the uh, the bases that each had like sort of was like a joint on it? Mm. Like an orange joint. It's good practice. Makes mm. things easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I wasn't sure how we were going to do that as well. I wonder as well, because when I was showing in the video, it was it was in a forest, but it was not It was in empty places. Like, if you are in a forest, would it just delete the tree that you place it on and take over? I, I think so, yeah. Uh, okay. I doubt we'll have to, like, cut them down manually. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be a pain. Oh, wait, that would be player. interesting. Then you could, like, you could build your, your base, like, in a, around a forest. You just have you just have tar missile turrets behind. <laughs> that, 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 that sounds kind of nice, though. Yeah. <laughs> Blend them in with the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I don't know if you remember the some old season con where I think I was shown prison or something in it, and the guy was escaping, and um, there was a cloth on the Ursa rover that he pulled off. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, what we felt like, like no, the camouflage turrets just put that over them. Mm. Stuff like that. And yeah, and they also showcase the new cloth technology, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. Bedsheet physics, as it comes. The time has come. <laughs> camouflage oh, camouflage right. sheets, alright? Hidden bases? Oh, yes. Did you just a whole cloth for your, your base, yeah? It's <laughs> <laughs> just a big drape. Also, when I was showing the baseboard, and there was, um, because they showed the Pioneer, the Galaxy, and then, um, what is that Anvil? The Anvil platform? The one that the uh, Ballista and Centurion are using. It showed that and had like a sort of a bigger, much bigger compartment behind it, which I think it's going to be useful base building as well. So I guess, like yeah, ground base option. Yeah, so I'm guessing you like instead of having to have the Pioneer or the Galaxy, as long as you have a ship that can load that, perhaps, and then you can you can start oh. base building. So, no, that's nice. That's be interesting. I, I like the idea. Mm. So it doesn't restrict it just to certain ships. Yeah, and they also answered the like the big questions about how how the bases are going to last and be secured in in secured in the end of it. Like, what do you do? What happens if you don't like take care of your base? So yeah, yeah they answered yeah, that yeah. too, which is a a good thing because I, I was having a I was kind of scared about that, but they made they made it very clear. You you have to pay that. There are taxes. Yeah, exactly. If they if they don't, then. Plans would just be filled up with bases at the end. There's no space left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the security thing as well. How like if you don't pick like the highest option, if you have like a really low op option, you just just don't get anything. No taxes, but you mm. get a high return. But you know you can get. Oh really good yeah, reason. yeah. So it sounds like what I'm guessing they take some of your resources or your money you make from resources. Yeah. 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 So the question now is, do they only take what you make, or do they only require some like payments each day or something? You know, um, um, that may be a good question. I, mm. I don't think we have the answer to that, actually. Monthly payment, yeah? Yeah, maybe. No, you I tracked us down. I think, <laughs> I think that's a given. They should be doing that, because otherwise, yeah, you you won't be able to, like, clean up the old bases. And, yeah, the, the, your planet is going to be, yeah, filled real fucking fast. Mm -hmm. they, I think they said if you don't, what, they take down the power, so you don't have power on it. Yeah, yeah, and all the players can just destroy it. Even even in security area, if you, if you don't have any more rights to the to the land, yeah, should be fun. Oh yes. Also, I had, I had some concern about some some things. Not, I I was uh, thinking about it when looking at the Squadron Forty Two destroyable covers. Oh, oh yes, yeah, yeah. yes. And also, there was a showcase about like an an arch being destroyed by a ship mm. ramming yeah, into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really so good. If they apply this to bases. I'm I'm guessing they'll do something like 
if it takes enough damage, it enables the destruction, and then you can destroy it. Yeah, I'm curious because what but, people are like, you know, oh, we, we we can't get to him, so they just ram the ship into the headquarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, how do all those this last in time? Like, is the do you have to raise the ground and like build a new? Uh, or like, for example, for covers, if you place covers around your base, they immediately get destroyed because they they get destroyed at the. I guess at the first bullet you use it mm. start to cheat a bit. How is it going to like regen? Or you will you be required to rebuild all your covers each time? I'd, I'd imagine. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's not a car. Yeah, we, I, we gotta mix the sand and the cement. You know, you get that twenty minutes and we paste it on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have like Bob, you Bob the builder, your NPC in your base that just makes covers <laughs> yeah. all day. That's the thing. I'm kind of expecting them to have like some sort of regen. Partial region at least, um. at least for at least for small things like covers. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, you want to place some some things to slow attackers down. They're gonna be destroyed basically every every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm I'm expecting it to be painful if you have to remake them all the time. Yeah. So yeah, that, I think that's yeah. They will have a lot to think about. Because I can imagine if someone just flies over an A2 as well. Just not oh yeah. Stuff. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, you know. But I'm, I'm hoping by the time that's a thing would have uh, sort of counter turrets. I'm not, I'm not sure the exact name of it. Turrets that will yeah. shoot down bombs directly, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm expecting that to be like count countered with uh, infantry that disables them. Yes, yeah, so you can't just roll over with A2. Oh, guys, we just saw a boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some, uh, like the, tro uh, was it the trophy, trophy, trophy system? Mm. I think that. Oh, yeah. Up grenades and shit. Yeah. yeah, like a big version of that on the top, on your roof. Yeah, yeah. It just goes like and destroys the bomb before it hits the, the base. Really nice. I mean, in a way, does, does, don't turrets already do that? Ah, uh, well. Now that I think about it. Oh, yeah, they do actually, yeah. I think they may actually do that already. Yeah, they do try and shoot down missiles, especially the Idris when are trying to fire it with size. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So n not too too far stretched. I was hoping. Uh, yeah, yeah, this would be fun. So, so th think thinking about all this uh, base defense, I think at some point they talked about uh, not in the citizen con, but earlier they talked about flak ammunition and things oh, things yeah. like this, like more varied type of ammunition, which would. Fit really well into the the whole uh, pace defense. Yeah, they did say that gonna make the sort of ballistic and lasers more unique. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we, we need that. Yeah. Are they rebalancing it soon? Uh, I, I, I hope so. I'd imagine it's gonna go for a lot of rebalances at the moment. It's been a while since uh, it's been uh, streamlined. There's nothing much right now. Because there's three types, isn't it? There's the energy one as well from the uh, Kana rifle. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Think so? What you mean, like plasma and energy are two oh, different things? Plasma, yeah. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I'd merge it maybe. Perhaps, yeah. That's a. Oh no, no, you're right. There's, there's like lightning, plasma, oh, yeah. and, oh, yeah. and yeah. one gun. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. There's also the, the lightning thingy, mm -hmm. which at, at first I thought it was to be non-lethal, but I, I'm not too sure about this anymore. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm guessing. Also, much... Sorry, go on. Uh, yeah, uh, there's, there's one thing I gotta. I gotta bash uh, CIG about this, like for the the electrical damage, the thing they do is like they arc to other people, mm. right? I I don't like this. You think it's too OP? It's not. It's not OP. It's a it's a um, thing about like uh, game mechanics. In a game like Star Citizen, you want to play with other players. Yeah. And yeah. So you you grab like five of your friends. And then a guy show up, shoots one of you, and everyone takes half HP oh. damage. Oh yeah, <laughs> it, it, it kind of defeats the purpose, you know. You, I, I I don't know if it's OP. I, I've never tried it actually, but it's at sounds kind of it sounds kind of bad. At the moment, it takes like three shots. So it takes three shots punishes, to kill anyone. Directly. Yeah, yeah. You need multiple shots for yeah. for it to arc, but it punishes you from having friends, kinda. Yeah, but well, I'm hoping further down the line because they did say with armor as well they can change that up. So. Because they're already saying with certain helmets you can be able to use scan abilities or counter scan abilities. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping with yeah, the armor yeah. as well. Some armors will have more resistance to ballistics or lasers and such. Yeah, I remember thinking about like in what way could they modify and improve armor and give choices. And there's a lot of things they could be doing. Like 
even just radar, it enables so much customization. Mm. Like, do I take a big armor? It's going to protect me well, but everyone will see me. When I go into Korea, do I want to use the light armor so that I can have the jump on the attackers? Mm -hmm. Or do I... I'd rather keep a heavy armor because I, there are probably two or three of them in there. It makes choice relevant, which is not the case actually. Right now, the choices in armor are really bad. A guy of armor, they said, they said uh, if, for example, if you pilot a ship with heavy armor, I think you can have a harder time controlling it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that would make sense. So you're gonna want to go with a light armor, which then again is nice because say if you get raided, it's oh shoot, well I gotta get to the armor lockers to change my armor. You know what I mean? It mm -hmm. gets that type of scenario instead of oh yeah, let me just get up and you just you carrying yeah, got my big weapon right here. <laughs> I shoot for the door. The thing is, yeah, they were also talking about um, certain types of like undersuits you could wear to like, you know, not black out when you're doing like some mad maneuvers. In oh the yeah, Ooh, that's, suits, yeah, that's really good. I did not think about this. So I think people might be more inclined to wear those instead of like armor. So they yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. While doing maneuvers in their ships. Oh yeah, that's really good. And then with these and the suits, maybe we, you won't be able to attach heavy heavy armor equipment or heavy armor parts. Mm, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm so that, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that's a really good thing actually. Mm. I'm curious if they hopefully, for example, if you're sitting in a sheet that you can't have a gun on your back. So then it kind of yeah. forces you to go to one of the armor lockers or the gun holding yeah. things in your, in your ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a pistol would be fine, but like, for example, even with the Gladius, you have to get out and you'll open up the weapon rack on the oh. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will have to do that at some point, I guess. Yeah, yeah they did say they want to make everything physical in the end. Like. Yeah, yeah, because I, I can't imagine myself like sitting with the <laughs> rifle in my back on the seat. <laughs> Yeah, it's comfortable. So, yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty clear that we, it will not be able. We will not be able to do that. So what the uh, the big tower, the new tower raid things that they've shown? Oh yes, America yes. Tech. They, oh, they look juicy, yeah, they they look so good. I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm really excited about the because they just said obviously they showed them roads there and stuff like that. And I'm guessing yeah. cause when I was showing the raiding videos, oh, well, there was turrets and stuff. I'm hoping there's going to be troops on the ground as well, perhaps. Mm. So you yeah. can sort of go through the road with your your, your Nova tank or I take out the troops and the turrets. Yeah. Yeah, but the the thing about the infantry troops right now, we have the problem we have in the game is they're bad. Oh, they're, yeah. they're not they're not very good. That's the problem. Even like, I was thinking about this. Like, right now, if you were to have your base in a high security area, you get raided. Cops show up. They are not going to do anything. <laughs> that's not <laughs> easy. They're gonna get bodied, like hard. So then, yeah. That's the the thing is they really need to increase the bots, but uh, it seemed to be because of the server performance that they yeah, are bad. Yeah, definitely. Because when you're on a low server of like fourteen players, but they are they freaking pop the corner. Yeah, and oh, my shoulder! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The aim is like on point. <laughs> even recently, I think uh, looking at bots, uh, they seem to be reacting better. Like they now when they move, they are looking in the direction where they are mm. going to be shooting. You know. Yeah. It, it's right now. It feels better. Like it's in, it's been a few months. I, I I see I see the improvement already. They stopped them as well. Cause usually, if they didn't have a weapon, they'll just walk around. But now they actually go down and grab grab a weapon. Hmm. So they're getting there. But yeah, it's just mainly the the survey issue. Yeah, yeah. Else. Did you guys see uh, the uh, the um? I think they were showing the terraform things that are up on the planet. But then oh, the yes, other, yes, you had you had that triangles. you had that massive uh, sort of tornado cloud thing yeah. down the middle. That looks sick. I was hoping because a lot of people have been speculating that if we do have um, certain uh, amp, uh, weathers in the planets where, say for example, you if you go down the planet and it gets really thundery and stuff, and then you can't leave it until that until that storm goes, so you kind of stuck mm. down there. Mm. Or maybe maybe you have to go fly to the eye of the storm and then you can get out. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, they also kind of force you to use ground workers, I suppose, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're gonna start doing that more often now, like trying to like, get like ground vehicles to be actually implemented into gameplay. Mm. You know, they, they don't have much use at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, at the moment, they have one use that I think is kind of good. I actually like it. The ground vehicles have very low signature. Mm. They are very stealthy. In, and I, I like this. this. This is a good idea because, like, again, choices. Do I take a an hover bike or a bike? But the thing is, the bike will have a much 
much lower signature. Oh, which yeah, is yeah. very nice because, for example, when you take your other bike to a bunker, the turret will shoot at you. Because the other bike has a maybe as big a signature as the Aurora. I don't. I don't think that's intended though. Because I, I don't. I don't know well. either. But uh, I like it. You know, it's it it has shields and it flies, which I'm makes him. sense <laughs> that the turret will see you. So, like you're basically blasting IR or EM signature everywhere. Yeah. Meanwhile, if you take your, the the like the cyclone cyclone rover, the turrets will not shoot at you. Mm. I don't know if it's intended, but I like it. Because it still counts as a ground vehicle, right? I, I, I think so, yeah. Because I I, I, I'm saying that, Ben, you can just take out in space and fly it around as well, so maybe it doesn't. Mm, yeah, no, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a signature thing or a category. I think it might be, it might be category. Because you can fly with it outside of space. It's not an atmosphere. Yeah, yeah you can, you can. But still, uh, as, uh, as the... The categories improve and more choices are added. Yeah, each type of vehicle will have its place. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So with uh, with the ship release order this short, they're going to finish off the RSI backlog first. Yeah. Uh, out. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Was it the um, the the Polaris? Uh, one sec. Oh yeah, yeah. So so they're going to finish off the. Lars, uh, they were showing it off at CitizenCon, I think. It's, uh, I don't know what size missiles it's got. It's massive, though. You, you see it, Vulcan? Uh, I, I don't think so. Well, let me let me check pictures. Polaris. I swear it took like three shots, three or four shots yeah, to take down the Idris. Three shots, Idris finish. Nah, uh, what the hell? God damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I see the one, the Polaris. I, I don't like its look. Oh. It looks yeah. like <laughs> Yeah, I don't think fair the look as well. It's a big Dorito flying ship. <laughs> It has a it has a dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> it's too wide at the back. What can I think it can fit like a saber? No, no, uh, saber. Uh, probably yeah. Scorpius, stuff like that. Gladius, I think. Mm. Yeah, I see. I see a picture in which there's Gladius, a saber definitely. in it. So that I think they're doing the Polaris next, then the Galaxy, the multi uh, module ship. Oh yeah, the and the then Perseus. The yeah. Yo. God you're, never, you're never gonna get your Perseus. Never. <laughs> Perseus, okay, the Perseus. You're never gonna get it. No ramen for you. You'll be old and dry when you'll get it eventually. It's alright, it's alright, as long as I get it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Yoinked, 80 years old, Polaris is out. Yes! <laughs> I can imagine if it like passes into a ship and it just gets like jammed there. <laughs> just, they have oh, a whole yeah, hammerhead, yeah, yeah. Whole hammerhead on the nose of your ship. Because wouldn't it like take damage on your own ship as well, regardless. Well, I'd imagine you have to have like a substantial amount of armor in front. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. doesn't just shred your ship to pieces. Because most of the Randall ships uh, have sort of knives on the end for ramming. Mm. Mm. Ramming gameplay, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's, that's a good idea. I, I was thinking about home to balance ramming, but the fact that you destroy your front armor is kind of a good one yeah yeah it, it just yeah, it's a consumable you know it's kind of like kind of like ammo but yeah. except yeah. it's the, the armor you have in front which yeah. is, gets damaged as uh, as you ram people yeah it, it make, makes sense yeah uh, I, can, I can get behind this i wouldn't imagine you being the person just like ramming for ship 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 yeah yeah no like yeah, it's going to be so bad uh, I, I wouldn't mind that you yeah know. of course you wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so again with the base board, um, they mentioned uh, blueprints and that. You think you're essentially oh, going to be yeah, able to craft yeah. anything good? Ooh, yeah, that, that's a really good idea. I can imagine, that means you must have like a sh shipyard at your base as well, and you can just craft ships mm. from. I think, I think that's something that is implemented in uh, games like EVE Online. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think that's the same thing, you have to have your, your schematics and things to mm -hmm. build like weapons, higher weapon tier and maybe consumables, mm -hmm. different things, and even eventually ships. Yeah, yeah I think I remember correctly. It's really interesting because it will, we will be able to build ship that do not have, uh, what's it called? Warranty? Oh, yeah, insurance. Yeah. insurance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be interesting, yeah. So that, that's the thing, we'll, we'll get uh, this uh, this grey area in which you, you'll have a ship, but if it's destroyed, you it's lost. That's it. But at the same time, I suppose it will be way cheaper than and to buy one with insurance. I'm 
curious when it comes to the ship building if you're able to. I'm sure you probably will, but have like a hangar built in underground where you call ships up from. Mm. And I'm guessing yeah. maybe that would have. Well, I don't know about this, but I have like a storage limit, so eventually you have to store some ships outside. Perhaps. Mm, yeah, yeah. At the, they talked about the fact that they will eventually add uh, like underground facilities. Mm. But yeah, I think they maybe they want to focus on, on overground facilities first. Yeah. Plus with the. Yeah, that, uh, that's that's the pipeline. Was the the hangar thing again where you can bring down your cargo? I forgot the exam, but put your personal yeah. hangar. Yeah. The fact that we had to spawn some ground works in there finally as well. Yeah, that, this is really good. Much really, more really easier good. to like set up for missions like jump town and stuff like that instead of have to go to the outpost and spawn mm, yeah, your yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. It's gonna be so very easy. very good. Yes. Much easier. I think we have to talk about the uh, the elephant in the room. Oh, fuck the, um, so you. What? Calm down. Oh. And, what, and what about the boat? Oh, the, the boat. boat. <laughs> the goat. I mean, the boat. Yeah, yeah, the goat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the goat boat. Yes. Uh, uh, by the way, I rewatched the this cinematic, and uh, I did not realize at, at first, like the the guy that talks to the player. It it tells the player to get to cover so that you do yeah. not get spotted. Mm. So I'm expecting the boat to, like ground vehicles, have a low signature. Yeah, so maybe yeah. maybe we'll kind of get at some point a, a stealthy boat mission. <laughs> but how would you spawn in a boat? That's the thing. Ooh, I mean, that's, I'll be that's honest. Good question. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't think... Do you think we'll actually get boats? I mean, no, no. I, I, think <laughs> it's one I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't expect something amazing, but maybe a, a bit some boat, yeah, maybe sure. Yeah, come get your Ursa boat for five ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Like, you see the what's it called? Imagine like is easy fix for for us being able to transport the boat. Uh, landing gears for the boat just makes it so that you do, it doesn't flip around in uh, in your anger, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. So like maybe like I don't know like legs on the side that sticks out on the sides and then it is able to stand on oh, solid ground, yeah, yeah. and then the what's it called? The the big tractor beam that they showed us at some point. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes. So kind of kind of see like a um, a boat the size of the Spartan. Mm. You just deploy it to be stable on ground and move it with the tractor beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. It. it. It it could work. Is it useful? I, I don't think so. <laughs> it's probably going to be shit. <laughs> except except if they if they make a like a a water cave. Ooh. Oh yeah! yeah, yeah if they make really water cave, really, really nice then. Otherwise, useless. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but like even there, like I can, that's like really unique. I was thinking, yeah, but it, it, you could have some special resources in there, you know, <laughs> like algae or something. I was thinking maybe like an island surrounded by it, just like fifty turrets, so you can only get by boat. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then again, maybe um, weather is going to make you need to grab a boat. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, Atmospheric interferences or something, so you can fly up, get your boat. That that scene with the boat scene that reminded me of the the first Halo Three mission where the Phantom goes over you in the forest, and you tend, you tend to get out of sight. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you? Oh shoot, my bad. First mission, man. All right. <laughs> do you think dropships are going to be more viable then, especially that big raid tower mission? Uh, I guess. I'm not sure. I I don't really know for sure. I mean, dropship, sh- dropship. Oh, I I think dropship are already kind of. I think people like them. The thing is that yeah, as we have said said before, that don't have much use. But even for raids, you don't really need one. What do you mean? Maybe you only carry your guys on it into the raid belt. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be very useful. I mean, because the scenario I was thinking, if you could just quickly drop them in, so you don't have to sit there for that long, getting shot by the turrets. The thing, and you really want to, because in that video they shot as well, there was like three turrets shooting the cutters, which I'm sure mm-hmm. would have blown up by then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, if the if the drop ships eventually get the the better shields, then yeah, yeah, it, it, maybe you'll. Because you have a dropship, you won't need to like drop further away or something. You will be able to just drop in, drop the guys, and then yeah. fly out. 
That's a uh, yeah. That's an option. They yeah, could be. Like could eventually end up being very valuable. Yeah. Plus, they did say they were gonna buff the the, the Valkyrie shields. And Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine if you maybe drop them off on the side of the the building because they didn't show if there was a way to get in from the ground floor. But I'm hoping there is. So yeah. you can just do that instead. instead yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on top. Oh yeah, there, there must be a way to get in from yeah. the ground. Yeah. That's quite nice. But yeah, I mean, even even if it's useless. I'm gonna use a <laughs> dropship. It's just way too yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, they always have to use. Oh, I wanna, I wanna run off this ramp. Oh yeah. So the um, those terraforming uh structures you see in the sky. Hmm. That was that was only in a squadron. No, uh, yeah, it wasn't in the, the PU. Yeah. So I wonder who who might didn't play as one of those. <laughs> I, I I could see those uh, those platforms in the PU. On planets that they haven't finished. Oh, right. you, oh yeah, you get right, me? Right. Yeah, yeah. Sort of like a like the, you know what I mean? the planet is there, but there's like basically uh, like weather effects and interferences and lightnings everywhere. Mm. And for now, it's not terraformed. You'll have to wait like what six months so that CAG makes the planet, mm. and then the the, flo the the fleet of terraforming machines are going to fly off, and then there you have it. You have your planet now. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Could be cool. One of the old I see I see videos they showed um sort of a much more larger cave where ships could fly through, but you you wouldn't have to bring someone like a secretary die through there. So mm, yeah. So maybe like you can get a Vanguard hub right to go through and have missions be done on that. See uses for that like that way. Yeah, that's a that's a very good thing to add, yeah. And even as a as a terrain to approach with the with your fighter, it's kind of, it may be interesting for some people. Like I, I can, I can see people enjoying, like trying to do the mission fast or escape from like passing through the caves or something. It, it, it feels a bit Star Warsy. You get me? Like in Star you. Wars when they're when they're fleeing an enemy oh. and they go through rocks, asteroid fields, caves. That, that's that's the kind of feel I get. Yeah, they just crash into it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool if you have like settlement settlements uh, in, in in these big caves that you go down you can buy stuff mm. from. So yeah, if nice. if the if they get properly implemented and they like have good gameplay, like linked to them to the, these caves or this asteroids field and everything, yeah, it's, it could be a really good place to have gameplay. Yeah, definitely. definitely. The um oh yeah, the handcuffs that they showed. Mm. Knocking out the guy. I'm sure that's gonna be linked to bounty hunting as well. Probably, probably yes. Yeah. Uh, we'll finally be able to use the, I think the Avenger Titan, not Avenger Titan, the Avenger Stalker. No one thing, Yoint. You'll be the first one I I test this on. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot! I'll send you straight to jail. You send can to I, jail. I can imagine Lord Tron. <laughs> <laughs> just knock you just, you just show up to the bounty and uh, like place, and you're like. I have this guy to deliver, but he hasn't done anything. No, no, trust me, he's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> also, because you have those those, um, those pods that will eventually put them in as well. Because they showed the, I think, I'm not sure if it was actual change with Hawk, but they changed out the seat and had the had the mm. uh, sort of cryopods come out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. stack them inside. Zeus had it as well, nice. the pods. Did it? It had drop pods. But not, not prison pods. Person, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the Zeus. You know, we get the Zeus has drop pods. Wait, 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 wait. I think it has two drop pods. Hey yo. Which is a bit odd though. I, I don't. Wait, escape pods or drop pods? Oh, escape pods, not drop pods. My bad. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> my bad, okay. my bad. You know, I think they said the Zeus would be two, two or three players. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you have three players, you know, the cap the captain sinks with the ship. Yeah, that's a really fun ship to use. Alright, so let me move to the, uh, the ship of the week. Uh, every time we do the ship of the week, we do the ship of the week each week. So within that week, we're doing a ship within the week. I'm giant rubbish. <laughs> Yo. Alright, no, essentially each week we'll pick a ship and we'll pit it against different scenarios and discuss how it would fare. So today, this time we'll be discussing the RSI Galaxy. And, um,. Stuff of combat. I don't think it's that heavily armed, isn't it? 
I don't compared. think that. I know it's sort of a mainly. I, I don't know, because it's modern, isn't it? Because you can have the cargo, there's the medical bay, and I'm guessing now something, another module to do with base building as well. Mm. There's a refinery as well. Yeah, is that so? It's super. Mm. Do you want yeah, that, that's the one they said was going to be very modular. Yeah. Right? And I thought they so stopped I, with modular stuff, so that's good to see. I'm, I'm checking the, the, the RSI um, webpage. So yeah. it says. Featuring a fully, modul a fully modular design and an onboard hangar capable of deploying small ships, the cutting-edge galaxy has versatility built into its DNA with a highly configurable main deck that can be outfitted with comprehensible facilities to support cargo, medical, or refining operation. Because they did... Hmm. That sounds good. Sounds like you will one ship, sort of. Because they say, obviously, you're going to have to go to a station to change that model. Yeah, but it feels like... Um, like a Corsair or a Mercury that you were able to specialize into something? Yeah. 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 I, I, I like the idea. I'm checking out the uh, guns. Let me see what we have. Free remote dual size 5. I own. Wait, for the pilot? Uh, Probably for the whole ship. Oh, for remote dual size. Oh, yeah, I see it. No, there's the turrets. I don't think the pilot has any weapons, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the RSA RSE? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no weapons for the pilots, only turrets. Ha, <laughs> you're right. All right, so <laughs> yo, <laughs> as missiles as I mean, well. Except if the pilot has control to some of those turrets, but yeah, only turrets otherwise. Mm. What is it? No, like two uh, turrets on the side. Pilot. All right, two on the side and one top one bottom. It seems. So what class is it? It's a subcap, right? I think so. Yeah, I think so. It looks yeah. like a subcap. That sounds good. It's a crew of six though, that's quite a lot of people. Is the cargo bay underneath as well? Because it seems to have like a tractor beam underneath it. Oh yeah, I've seen that it. as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think you'll change the... Like the, the specialized room, the module from underneath. Hmm. So you just sort of drag cargo in from there. It does look like a neat little, a neat little ship. I'll give you that. I think it's just above the... No, well, obviously it's bigger than Connie. Yeah. What, I, what I'm hoping... Mainly that this ship will accomplish is... Opening the the gate from the for the modular for yes. the other modular yeah. ships. Oh, yeah, there's so many ships. <laughs> that, that's that's really what I want. It's for this ship to pave the way because th there are already many ships that should be modular, mm. but are not. So, so combat wise, I, I I'd say it's sort of in the mid range. Is you wouldn't yeah. really want to solder anyone with the ship if you go on side to know. size. It's I think it has three. Two size five, you said. Three two size five, yeah. Which is, which is kind of good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it's fitted mainly to like assaults, but yeah, it should be able to defend itself pretty, pretty well. Hmm. But uh, like, if you've gone and against another ship, its size, I don't think it would fare well, especially since it doesn't have any pilot controlled guns. Um, sort of yeah, from, the, other from the same size, yeah. No. I think within the fleet as well. I don't know where it's it. No, it's it's a utility ship, I think mainly. Yeah, main focus. Yeah, it's, it's not rigged for 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 combat mainly. So utility wise, definitely great because you have the options seem to be unlimited at this point. Yeah, but you're right. It's really not good for combat. Like. Yeah. So, I do want to discuss the because some ships are going to be better than others when it comes to sort of living in them. Mm hmm. Uh, with the amenities that come aboard, you know, toilets, showers, some place to make food. Which I'm guessing a ship of this size, and uh, all ships of this size really, I guess they would have that sort mm, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this one seemed to be, that's the one in which I expect to live, uh, <laughs> live in luxury. It's, it's in pretty big. Yeah, it's quite a big ship, yeah. What's the crew size? Yeah. Uh, six, I expect it to be people. comfy. Oh, six. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm thinking I have a sub cap. Like, it's close to cap. With a crew of six. Crew six. Because <coughs> the thing is, for example, a ship like the Libra, I think the max crew size is three, but then you do have about eight uh, uh, the uh, seats. Drop pod seats. Mm. But the ship can't support can't support that. 
like in a, in a long journey wise because there's only two I think there's only two or three sleeping beds yeah 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 because you're supposed to um, always have uh, someone piloting the ship so in our, in our, our rating here we'll give the uh, galaxy a, uh, a one Galaxy. whoa <laughs> <laughs> No, overall, yeah. overall out of ten, I, I, I personally, I give it, um, I give it a seven, seven and a half. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll stick it seven. Seven for what? For everything? Yeah, in overall, general, it's, yeah, it's not that yeah. great in combat, but it, it does, it can stand its ground sort of. But I guess if you have support, because the mirror does has the cargo bay at the back as well, so you could just bring out some. So are we only talking combat or like the the general? No, overall, yeah, yeah, combat. Overall, uh, utility. I, I'd give it an eight. 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 Oh. Yeah. Uh, just the, the the ability the ability to like do everything, even even if not at the same time, it is really good. I I could see a team of three to five guys playing every every day or every week, just jump jump in and grab the galaxy and then well what do we do this what what do we do this week? We mine. Okay. Yeah, and we grab the the mining mining module, and oh, that's yeah, it. Yeah, you it, it, it offers uh, it offers a uh, it offers a lot of option. Oh yeah, no, I definitely. think I I could see it being well appreciated by groups of people. Definitely, I don't know what ship you would compare it to though, because it's sort of unique with the mining. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's the any other quite like it. Same similar ships, and I just see Connie Odromas. <laughs> so I guess no. <laughs> well, no, I'm thinking about the the one with the four bubbles on the side, like the four bubbles. Yeah, the, the exploration ship, I don't remember its name. Oh, uh, the Endeavor. For Misk. Endeavor, oh, the Endeavor? Endeavor? Yeah. Endeavor's huge, that's like that endgame ship. Yeah, that's the. the, the I, I kind of feel it fits the, the same role, oh. you know, it's the. You can do whatever you want, but. Oh. But this one is bigger, you know? That's yeah. the, the, that's kind of the smaller Endeavor. That's what we like, the sort of next step up, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, li I like it, yeah. We ain't seen the Endeavor until, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're not going to see it until <laughs> until far, far away. <laughs> and the thing even is like the the endeavor like uh, concept is really old. Like wh when the endeavor is going to come out eventually, it, I think it will not look like this at all. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely going to change. It will be way, way different. Especially with the, was it, the other ship, the um, that Crusader ship, the transit one. I'm bugging on the name right now. The the hull. No, the Crusader ship, the one that transports uh, uh, people Hercules? across. It's in concept, the but it's really old and just it, it looks nothing like Crusader ships as they are now. Let's see again. They like have like a, like a like a people. Oh. Yeah, it's like a people carrier. I forgot the name. Do they? Oh, the Genesis. Yeah, that was the yeah, Genesis Starliner. This is Starliner? Yeah. Yeah. But that Genesis. that's definitely gonna change. <laughs> anyway. We, we, which brand is it supposed to be? Uh Crusader. Crusader? Uh yeah, it doesn't quite look like a Crusader now. I can, it's definitely gonna get more, much more chunky. A little big old Apple, yeah. Flying free atmosphere. Alright, we're gonna end the hat since you're gonna go. So Yee. Yee. I'm gonna cut that part. Alright, I'm gonna end the hair since we have to go. And you can see you go. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll go back again in maybe a week, two weeks. We have a new ship. And thank you. And, yes, uh, definitely. And please come to listen us again. Listen to these. No. Okay, okay. Oh. My, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Don't say you're sorry, you're not. My bad, I'm not sorry. I can hear it in your voice. <clears throat> I'm not sorry. Uh, yep, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> see ya.